wealthy donors, own politicians and political parties who take their money. It does seem to surprise some people, despite knowing this is exactly where most political parties gain their funding from wealthy private individuals, either directly or through their companies. How many of you ask yourselves, what are they giving this money over to them for? What are they buying? Influence, regular contact there, loyalty to the selfish wants and desires of the rich, buying our politics and ensuring it only ever benefits them and not us. All parties take private donations. You know I'm going to slam the toys as the worst case of being bought and paid for, because it's true. But of course, Labour now wants that too under Starmer. As trade union money, the cleanest money in politics, deserts them as they become ever more Tory light. Now, I've not seen a more obvious example of this in a while than this latest example concerning billionaire party donor Peter Crudis. He has told the Tory party that unless Boris Johnson is given the option to stand to remain as PM, he'll not donate the latest half a million pound donation he's hanging on to for their party. He's holding them to ransom to keep Boris Johnson, one man's selfish wants overriding the majority of the country who now say they want Johnson gone. This is a man who just three days after being made a Lord donated half a million pounds to the Tories. He was made a Lord despite the Lord's Appointment Commission refusing to recommend a period for him due to cash for access issues when Crudis was Tory party co-chair back in 2012. Johnson being the first PM to ever overrule their recommendations. This is the man who gave Johnson £50,000 to help bankroll his leadership campaign in 2019 and is threatened to pull his money and take it elsewhere if he doesn't get his own way, which means keeping Johnson inflicted upon us. The political damage means it's hardly likely the Tory party will bend to this. It's quite conceivable they're likely to lose more money if they gave Johnson a get-out-of-jail-free card right now. And most of his MPs clearly don't want him either. But this just goes to show the malign influence of big money in politics. We can never clean it up whilst political parties take such donations. Never ensure they pay their fair share whilst donations grant them mates' rates and we're made ever poorer. There has to be a better way of funding them.